the beauty of having inner alliance, the moon, the sun, yin yang. So of course, we all have our lovely counterparts for those of you who are 5D mystics. And if you're in the Enlightenment Soul Age Group, then you will know availability, not tomorrow or next lifetime, now. You'll know your availability to consciousness. It's pure purusha, and that's unconscious love, and it's uh, also pure energy prakriti, and that's integration of the brain. It's your mammalian heritage and mine. I'm attachment trauma informed besides being a 5D mystic. Woo-woo for these sciences. They don't believe in us because they don't know how to be a mystic. No, they could tap into the sphere, but you know, some of us get to have this the divine feminines, the divine masculines, it's if they, one, welcome their divine feminine, then there's a lot more, but we won't talk about that one. We're going to talk about the amazing journey of not having human suffering, which is why any enlightenment Zen master who's not enlightenment, obviously, because when you say you cannot be an enlightenment person, the minute you meet an enlightenment person like Sad Guru, who says to anyone, you want to do me, you can do it. And I know what he's talking about. Because I'm attachment trauma informed. I'm educated. Thank you, Daniel Siegel, Stephen Porges, Bezel van der Kolk, the entire trauma expert team, all the good ones, not the ones who still tell you whatever it is that the 3D, 4D people, they got they got their 7 to 14 charming. So see, when you're an intellectually masculine, feminine, it's nice when you meet good divine masculines, excuse me, not the ones who are pretending to be. We talked about that one. Yes, the pretenders, well, they can get out of their threat response, but that's if they stop running into high-risk situations, so dating unemotionally available people. So basically, if they go and decide, oh, look, trauma doesn't have to define me. I can get a good therapist and move into my whole inner heart and become my inner child versus it's screaming bloody murder. Okay, so what I am doing in this one is quite unique because... You know, it gets tiresome to hear people not actually understand what it means for some of us to have a good relationship with what our emotions, because, you know, what we have are misanthropists. They hate humans, dislike humans in distress. Then they go and quote dictionary definitions about evil spirits while acting like what they would define as evil spirits, like people who also say to you, yoga brings demons out of you, and that's another uneducated group of people. But again... Because they're regurgitating biblical texts and they got some seal of approval, you know, the people who don't come out of blinders. So anybody who's a Peter Pan and lost boys, lost girls. I'm not the smartest kid on the block, but I'm definitely not a trending topic in looking for goddesses and Venuses to tell me how men who want to, you know, sleep with you won't marry you. And then it's really hilarious to find coaches, men coaches, who say, sorry, ladies, that's just how you can except as I'm like, nah, you know what? I'm going to say there's a lot more decent human beings out there versus what YouTube shows because there's a lot of great educators that I get to find and then there's a lot of the 5D collective finally out there like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sure they're kind of like me. They're like, what happened here? <laughs> we knew that there would be people that would kind of, you know, do what in TV we saw, but really, <laughs> and we love the whole person, the person who uses the brain we love to be able and share with other people. Okay, so if you're smart, you're going to come on over to the places that, where we get to chit chat. You're not going to look for the, what is it, trending technological word, like the buzzword. That's it. Yeah, the superficial people, they look for buzzwords. Those are all Peter Pans who have self-doubt, by the way. Yeah, if you're looking for a buzzword, it's because you don't really care for what, but then again, my community is not that because I notice lovely community. <laughs> You're looking for the good stuff, but that's because yeah, I don't do the buzzwords. But what I'm saying is people who look for buzzwords, it's also one of the reasons why I've chosen to consistently maintain my heart body and value bodies because I don't want the people who don't know about how they can do emotional lifting. And anyone who's looking for a buzzword, magic wand, Ursula, magic wand. That's why the 4D mystics, they're on their venture. When they started to make a shit show out of the twin flame, I was like, really? <laughs> wow, I didn't know there were that many. Oh, now I know what they are. I'm so sorry. They need a good therapist because their one-year-old wasn't seen by someone. And now they're ruminating about it. And their unseen inner child has nobody home. The grown-up chooses not to say, oh, wait, let me shut the left mode up for a minute. Let me go and handle my emotional stuff in a healthy way for me. And as they get older, you know, well, they blame human suffering. It's called the human suffering love group. So we don't use our time there because they're going to give up on life. They're going to say, yep, yeah, one person, they meant everything. 
I don't know how to process it. I need to heal from betrayal and trauma. And Okay, so the people who do go and get post-traumatic growth, they, they come and join us and share other things which are empowering. They don't do the buzzwords again. It's called integration of the brain. It's called I'm using my mental and my emotional. I'm like, oh, look, I'm an angry Buddhist. No, I'm a Catholic Christian, even though, you know, with Reiki and all and theologians, I'm pretty sure at one point they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, is she a mystic? Yeah, I know, right? Woo-woo, pseudoscience lady. So... That's because if you are smart, you will actually understand neuroscience. There's a lot of great interviews, unless you want to be a flat earther. And I love the flat earthers. I want to meet one of them. I don't tease them too much. I just use them as the example of genius brains, more genius than mine. And they're trying to prove the earth is flat. And they want to blame the echo chamber. I'm going to say people choose their entertainment because I hear a lot about how people want to go and, you know, get busy with high risk stuff and how boring it would be to meet healthy self-worth people that's not very interesting to me whenever I see unhealthy self-worth people and like one of the recent I watched a movie it was a really cute movie the fact that it ended in a way that supports codependent type relationships meaning a man allowing some shit to happen and then a woman who's taken advantage of it and I'm like that's not cool that's not cool that they ended it because, you know, it was doing really great. And all of a sudden, now we've got a subject, meaning a person who allows some other person to not maintain what is a decent human being behavior. I'm not good with that. I'm not calling that entertainment. I'm calling that's a bad example in a way to keep people with mean girls eating Ben and Jerry's when they have one breakup and ruminating. I'm calling that a Pinocchio excuse. Yep, I'm not calling that a divine masculine, divine feminine union. I'm definitely... Human suffering, not really. I know how to do personal development. So when I go online and I see all that, I'm like, okay, let's talk about those of us who have a good relationship with our emotional plane. And that's because we don't lose our one-year-old. Thank you, mother. I got to be an innocent one-year-old. And thank you, Jesus and God, for helping me to stay on with love, heart, body, value, body. So when I got unkindness thrown in my face by people or people who don't want to live and people who say you don't mean anything, you know, all this beautiful, beautiful drama that you see. I watched soap operas for a little bit. I was, what, 18? I was like, you know what, this is really interesting. <laughs> Eventually, I stopped because it's something. I got busy with school. Oh, that's right. Yeah, school. I got to learn about the maladaptive child behavior that my lovely people in political science, yeah, that was one of my biggest disappointments was meeting professionals who don't care about what they do. And while, again, as with entertainment, people are like, no, no, you're the boring one. You're the naive one. You're the gullible one. Really? <laughs> you say that, huh? I I'm going to say that I know what's discernment because I got taught right. Discernment. I know what it means to have inner balance, detachment, compassion, and wisdom because I'm an inner child. I'm not fooled by you, charming ones. Also, authority. It's actually powerful, directed, realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. I know what a true divine masculine is and a true divine feminine, which are not some kind of, you know, showing it off. No, it's I show up fully and completely. I don't make up some excuse about my emotional stuff or my mood. I know exactly how to use consciousness to traverse, yes, all the layers of reality and dimensions. Like Bill Nye says, or Nay, I forget his last name, even if there is a matrix, do you really think you're going to find out? And that's where I'm like, yeah, I know, Bill, and I'm not a genius like you, but I was like, where's the 4D going? Oh, that's right, on Elsa's journey, because they got super special powers now that they have Claire's, and oh, they suffer more. No, no, I'm going to say they don't suffer more. Um, they can experience their infinite higher human conscious potential if they learned how to actually work with their emotional human being plane. So thank you, Jesus, for standing up, walking, and actually showing us the way to what it means to be a good and decent human being. Hopefully there will be, and there already are, more professionals that care about what they do, which is why they're going to be integrated brains and not think of buzzwords and, you know, the whole, you can't be enlightened because you got to suffer. Not really. Again, uh, if you have a good relationship because you got secure attachment, I did. I got lucky. Got a twin, got a mom, got a child-centric environment. If you didn't, that's where Patrick Tehan and other good therapists support those who want their inner child to come forth. And then you get to be you and know what it's like to be in the human love narrative. You can also come on over to IHP and we do it all together. It's personal development, remember. So we want to love each other. So again, some of us, we have a good relationship with emotions. We do the work. It's called emotional lifting, awareness, and more. Tune in.